<clears throat> okay, guys, back. Um, updated some navigation messages, uh, some uh, triggers and troughs and stuff like that. So, um, have the uh, quad track here pulling the slurry tanker. Uh, we got a bunch of solid manure, I got a bunch of liquid manure now. Um, have all my bales, hay bales, So I think what I'm going to do is I'm just going to transport all these bales um, over to my bale staging area. Um, these bales, they, they're not uh, functional. They're just uh, static objects that I put in here just for uh, decoration purposes. But I'm just going to go ahead and try to transport some bales for you guys. Need to work on my fences, haven't got around to that yet. Uh, I'll try to do it in camp. This is going to be a little bit more realistic view. Um, any suggestions you guys can put in the comments of what uh, you'd like to see. You know, this, I'm not a farmer by any means. Um, so if I'm missing something or you want to see something added, go ahead and uh, put it in the comments. So this is all uh, hay. I got hay bales here. Uh, this is all six thousand. You know, the reason why there's so few, or you see so few, is because I changed the capacity of the bear to uh, each bale be six thousand, just so it's less work to move. Uh, but the uh, loader doesn't seem to mind. 1,000 or 6,000 liters. Okay, so I have the uh, bale feed uh, feeder mod. I wanna wanna see if it works. So apparently you're supposed to. Let the bale go. That's cool. So that's the bale feeder mod. You just uh, click. So let's go get a straw bale. Let's see what we can do with that. That's a cool little mod. I mean, it works the same with the straw, so you don't have to buy um, any kind of specific machine. You know, essentially, it's like you're just spreading it uh, by hand. Um, so, I mean, this road, this isn't over here, isn't really. Um, been worked on much of this place. This house is just arbitrarily. That's the only house right there, and then that's the only house, and then this little wood area. This road, I'm still not sure if I want to leave it as a dirt road. Um, so here's another field I 
just finished harvesting. I have all these straw bales. I'll just go up to the furthest one over here. Um, pick up some straw. So that's a nice big field there with perimeter trees. So I want to, I'll spread this bale, and then I want to see what my bale destroyed. So this little tractor is a bit underpowered, but mm, it's okay. I think I'll put, uh, I'll remove that front loader um, mount and put it on my T8320 so that has a, uh, a front loader. I mean, this thing has a, a nice trailer hitch on it. I'm going to have to buy a second. So I have, uh, I believe I have a straw. Spreading the straw. Before. Still trying to figure out how the straw pans work. We got our cows. Um, I have uh, cow sticks now, so you should be able to. Uh, These are also feeding troughs. This is all feeding troughs in here with more cows. And my beautiful combine. You can hear the fermenting silence up here. <clears throat> What would be really cool is if you could like um, basically like clean out the barn with a sh like a bucket, um, like clean out the mirror uh, with your bucket. That'd be a cool little realistic feature. But I'm glad they fixed the physics for the bales. Hopefully this will let me load it in here without looking at the PTO.
So the poop, the poop mobile, um, with the real tree camo. I'll probably put more camo on as I go. I think I'm gonna deck out the, the CR combine with camo. Um, so I forget what the ideal mixture is. I think it's like within the parameters that are on the mixing label for like ideal. Um, I remember it from 13, because it's been a while since I did the whole dairy farming thing. I've been doing a lot of uh, just crop farming. Um, and I really want to get into soybeans here. There are uh, some uh, sugar beets. Um, but I wish there was like a good American full type lifter. There's all, all these like self propelled, but in Minnesota, they're really big into uh, sugar beet harvest. So I'd like to have, um, but again, I have I have no facilities for uh, sugar beets here. So pretty much this map is designed um, to be Northwest Wisconsin, you know, Minnesota, whatever. <clears throat> However, there there's no river yet, so I need to build a river somewhere. I have my lakes. There's a lot of lakes. <sighs> But it's just an, uh, pretty much overhauled the Ben's North map. Pretty much deleted everything that was existing except for the fields. Uh, deleted all the trees, all the buildings, all the old roads. Uh, essentially everything. I got rid of all the old uh, texture files. So it's essentially no longer Ben's. So. The only reason why I use it is because it had a good layout with um, a field so far. It had like some pre-existing roads. However, I'm working on building car splines. I'm working on um, adding in train splines, but it's um, different from uh, Farm Sim 13 because. Alright, so I put two that's, uh... We'll just set that there for now. Now we have to go and load up some silage. So that's, uh, 12,000 liters of grass. It's funny that I'm playing this right now. I'm on a study break. Uh, this is what I do. If you don't know, I'm down at school, and tomorrow morning at 8 a.m. I have a general general medicine exam, which is on all the the fun stuff you learn in medical school. Um, but here I am playing fun. So. Anyways, we're go loading up silage. So that seems to be like a good. Idea. Ideal ratio. Um, I'm gonna have to uh, get like a pull type uh, harvester or something. So I think I'm gonna turn around and I'm gonna test uh, these outdoor feeding troughs. And I should probably put like a little uh, uh, like downspout or like shoot or something so you guys are aware of where it's, all the silage is coming out of. Basically, if you just, I just have the trigger in the middle of the road right now. So as long as you drive underneath it, it will unload. And I highly recommend loading your bales first because the, the silage will uh, load until it's full, as you saw. So we're going to buzz over here to, to, to this. Uh, Unload this feeding trough right here. <laughs> so 
so everything seems to be functioning. Except the uh, cows are like frozen on the perimeter. So maybe I have to redo a mesh. I don't know, maybe you guys, maybe I need to increase the perimeter radius. I have it set at 1.2. So let's look at some data here. Uh, no loans, which is good. Bought a lot of cows. Um, corns. Okay, so I have quite a bit. For whatever reason, my soybeans are not showing up, which is really pissing me off. Um, let's see here. Oh, another thing is my soybeans don't show up on the growth, but you can clearly see them and harvest them. So I have 186 cows, liquid manure, uh, about 79,000, 55,000 of solid manure, uh, one chicken. Interesting. The sheep farm and chicken farm, um, they're over at the white, way over on the other side in the northwest. Um, feeding trough mixed ratio, ratio. so we got 18,000 liters of the silage we just put in. Um, I have a, a silage straw mix that I put in. We have or solid straw. We got grass. That was a one bale. And we have um, 1,256 liters. That's one thing. I need to get a milk trigger so you can buy and sell milk. And then I need to either like build a milk truck spline or something like that. Let the engine warm up a little bit. I like how the fuel gauges move. Uh, RPMs work. Mirrors work. Uh, this is a really small a slurry tank. So we'll just buzz over here. We can do with this thing. Let us take out of here and turn this baby on. Turn on my GPS. So. And I get some poop on my bales, but that's okay. So, I would like in soil management, this would be so ideal. So, I really hope they get that converted over because. Uh, you, this would be gold, and this would be such a fertile field with all this we there that I'd be putting down. But right now, it's just it just acts as a fertilizer, which doesn't really do much in this game. So I mean, I feel like this uses the, the usage on this is a bit off. It uses so much so. It's so quick. Juice flying over. Somewhere. Oh, 
over there. Mine over dead. So we'll just keep uh Spreading our cool. Um, for whatever reason, I have that uh, slurry solid. Oh, it isn't just. I have the Lime Manure mod installed. Um, and when I go into Giant's Editor, um, it like shows up like I can like paint on the, the detection, the foliage layers, but um, right now it doesn't it doesn't show any other animation. I have it scripted. So I don't really, maybe I'm missing something. Maybe it needs to be, um, like in the mods folder, it can't be in the map. So that's my, that's going to be my next, um, way of deductive reason. So, oh, and another thing is I doubled the length that the tracks show up. If you go into your game setting folder. Well, it would be really nice if uh, we can get the, the whole um, slurry mod from 13 converted over. That would be a real slick system. And then uh, put an AO texture on it. Um, that'd be really cool. So, I mean, it seems to be running, the map seems to be running smooth. Um, the only errors I get are from like texture file errors from like imported mods, so I'll fix those up. It could be um, due to the fact that I'm using a different ground shader for the terrain. Um, I edited the ground shader so it has a multi-angle real uh, terrain. So that could be a reason why it's not working, why it's not like, um, oh there goes more geese. why this this mod doesn't work. So there's like two possibilities that I can think of on the top of my head why that's not currently working. What I think I'm going to do is I'm going to do this so it uh, skips the lane, turns off auto turn. And hopefully it will skip one. How cool would that be? Maybe. Sweet. I'm going to turn down my
cruise control so it doesn't go crazy when I turn. Keep it out of time or something. So the GPS mod is doing all the, the steering for me. That's what uh, that's cool. That's why you should remove all of your bales. Prior to running your GPS, I wish this had an animation to it. At least you can hear it. So, this is pretty much just another episode of Farm Simulator. Just trying to deplete our liquid manure. Uh, Seems to be ready to roll here. This is all autopilot here, GPS. You can adjust the turn speed, you can adjust the turn radius, I think. But I'm just going every other uh, row with this. Still have a few bales out here that I need to come collect. Hopefully this can handle its uh, better back out of this pretty much swallowed my track and hold. At least I can showcase my articulated tracks. Oh my gosh. Thing is gutless. 
John Deere would be on it. Get out of no problem. So it's just a chill evening, we're on the lake, just farming. I'm not gonna make that turn. Ideally, you want to use something like a TA320 um, that has a little bit tighter turning radius. You must like this thing. Uh, it's got like a 29 degree, I think I have it set at, so if you're at 20, 29 degrees versus like 40 with the, uh, the T8 versus the T9 uh, for steering angle. And so we're out of slur there. Turn this thing now. Cut across the field here. As you can see, with all this detail, I'm running a GTX 460. There's like no lag, even while recording, even with custom mods. So I mean, I think I did a pretty good job with the mapping. Um, it's got a couple scripts in here already. It's got multi fruits. Uh, Lots of trees, lots and lots of uh, detail. Um, but I'm glad all the troughs work. They show up. Uh, fermenting silos work great. Uh, slurry works great. The cow navigation works. Um, so the only thing I have left to do is. Uh, You know what? I think I'm gonna buy a power washer just because I'm sick of all these. And I'll put it. Uh, wish I could put it up in the gray. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna wash these vehicles. Right Especially this, this one looks like it's been through hell and back. One of those dirty tires. I'm not sure, like, I know how to make a normal map, but I'm not sure which file format to save it as so it will show up. Because right now, it, like, the, the dirt, it has no texture to it, it's just flat. Which isn't that great. Buzz this over here and watch this quick. Added in the ladder animation. It's 
See, see how the normal map texture has that rough, kind of rough look to it? Um, like the normal map that I made, it just it's flat. It's not. So we we put uh, some acres on this header. Lots of soybeans, lots of uh, coconut canola. I'll just park it in here for now, in case it rains or hails or something. Um, and this is going to be the next beast that we wash. That's going to be, uh, I haven't transferred any files over yet, but that's where you can like store grass. I'm not a huge fan of using conveyor like sheds and conveyors. Um, I think that's I think everything should be a front loader and bucket, like in real life. So I know there's another like someone put an ATI track out there. I mean it's not the scale, but the like I I had this done oh, way before that. I added real tree camo. Um, uh, put uh, better textures on the, the tracks. Uh, yeah, that cleans up real nice. Look at that. Cleans up real nice. So here's the poop poop mobile. But see how it's like nice and rough. I wish right there you can see like that's all normal normal map. Look at this beautiful machine. Beautiful machine. Beautiful machine. Doesn't get any better than that, people. Freshly washed next to the white American barn. Look at that. Beautiful. We got the. Uh, all the appropriate vendors with the real tree camo. And I love my tracks. Put a lot of work into those, uh, making those tracks look nice. So it's not a big shed that I have on uh, over here, but it's uh, plenty big for whatever.
So there's a little beach there. Then we're gonna go haul some more grain, just uh, so I can get like a cultivator and a big planter, plant some corn. Traffic blind still doesn't work. I don't understand it. I like how the RPM gauge and the miles per hour gauge works. Got the green light. Yellow light. Um, oh, another uh, current event, the guy, the, the, the person that's making the Universal Process Kit, he's going to help me implement that mod on this map for, um, so silos have capacities, and you, for example, if I unload, say, like, I'm, for example, like, it says I have 500,000 soybeans. And all 500,000 soybeans are at that complex there. That means if I go to another silo, if I have like another like grain elevator, I can't unload from there. Like it's not like magically transported. You know, if you have multiple unload locations, it's only at, it's like the same thing as the multi farm uh, mod. So that's something that I want to put on the map. To just to give it a little bit more realism. Um, so, if you have grain store all over, you have to like actually go to that other complex, unload, and bring it back. You know. So that's uh, a little feature that hopefully we can implement. I'm gonna sell this grain here at the. Uh, flour mill up here and uh, 
hopefully have enough for uh, a corn planter. I want to plant some corn. Lights working with the shop there. Tractor supply. Should uh, put in mirrors on this. Farmers cool. So I think that will be a good place to sell some sand during the sand mod. Eventually down the road. You can get your seed and fertilizer and lime at Tractor Supply. You can get fertilizer um, here at uh, Crop Production Services. You can fuel up at your local BP gas station. We have, um, I want to make this Pulfus implement. It's a John Deere dealer, but unfortunately, we don't, there isn't a whole lot of John Deere in the game. So. Shout out to a modern American farm, American Eagles. Use all of your stuff. So like I mentioned earlier, any suggestions, put in the comments below. I mean, not the little detail-y shit, like power lines or deer stands or ditches on roads. Yeah, that's all obvious. I mean, like, big stuff, like any big ideas, improvements, suggestions, whatever.
pretty expensive cultivator. This is the best tractor I've seen in farm sim so far. The real tree uh, on quad, ATI quad. And I'm gonna. Uh, Cultivate up one of my little grass fields. Actually, maybe I will. I'll cultivate this uh, a little bit for you guys. So we'll put this over at Miami. We can note that. Yeah, that works. So you guys can see how this. Uh, Maybe cultivate, eh? Soybean stubble.
have these curves. So you can imagine if you had a little bit bigger cultivator or a big uh, seed drill, you'd be able to uh, destroy this field pretty quick. I mean, this is a pretty big field. Uh, just for... We'll call that field one. And if I wanted to uh, say it's 12 and I use one, this is uh, this field that we are currently cultivating is almost 47 hectares, which is about uh, 100 acres. So this soybean field here is real, realistically about 100 acres, and it's not even not even that big of a field on this map. So that field across the street, that's probably more than the equivalent of two to 250 to 300 acres. Wow. That field over there, it's uh, I think it was a little like 75 hectares. Uh, 
Um, so what is what, what is that like? 150. So that's like 180, 190 acres. So let's say that field over there is 200 acres. So you got like two, four, six. You got well over a thousand acres just in like four or five fields. And then you got on the southern, southern western region, which is uh, probably another five, good uh, five to eight hundred acres of fields. And then you have over there, which is probably another five. So you could probably realistically farm two thousand plus twenty five hundred acres on this map. Um, so, and if you figure, if you planted all that corn and this, and you uh, fertilize all that acreage. Uh, let's say you have 2,500 acres of fertilized irrigated corn at 320 bushels an acre at uh, four dollars and fifty uh, cents a bushel. Um, you can do quite well in this map. I mean, obviously, with this standard uh, equipment, it'll take you. Um, take you quite a while to uh, accomplish harvesting all of that um, but it's totally doable uh, And this, this will be a really expensive field. I mean, it's nice and flat. There's no obstacles in the middle of it. Close to the farm, close to facilities. It'll be right in town. And there's another field up the road that's really big on the lake with no obstacles. I mean, it's just got one little uh, island of trees in it. So... This, this tractor will take a little while to get dirty. You can see the fuel tank is starting to get a little bit dirty. The tracks are starting to get a little bit dirty, but I increased the time it takes the vehicle to get dirty. Um, traveling around 10 and a half miles an hour. Fuel is a little over half. Uh, so. Lift up the cultivator here. Set it back down after we finish the turn. So I have the soybeans, um, so they're all in rows. Um, we're just uh, doing some staker tillage here. Just because our turning radius is quite poor. Um, ideally, I would have the, the 320 with the, the 16 meter corn planter going behind that. Ideally, I want to get two of these rigs. I want to be on multiplayer so you can have two people cultivating or one person cultivating, one person running a grain cart while, while you're in the middle of harvest, and another running a tractor, having course play run the, the semi. But I like the roads, I like the, the white paint, the, the asphalt, I like the trees, I like the, uh, the sunset here. It's a pretty enjoyable little map to play on. I mean, it's not little, it's huge. It's the only map I know that's bigger is the 16 in South Dakota. Um, but that has, like, no detail. And it's fun if you want a big, flat map, just for a big farm. Um, but that's not really what I was going for. I wanted to uh, see. That's the issue with this. Is what is this guy doing? A GPS can be scary sometimes. I'll tell you what. Got a mind of its own. So 
So I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to go up here and do a manual turn and then come back and uh, call it a day on the video. Getting pretty late. Need to finish feeding the cows. There's the other farm, you can see the silhouette. I'll just turn off the turning mechanism. You guys will be able to see what happens when I make a sharp turn with the cultivator down. Um, you can use the auto tractor with this. I'll use the auto tractor to do the headland. I'll do two two uh, laps with, uh, on the headland with the auto tractor. But I usually like to run run uh, the GPS and manual just because I, I enjoy it. Real uh, fun factor. Um, a lot of the times I'll I'll run the planter. Um, and I'll have course play do a lot of this, but. It's fun to run it on manual with the GPS. I really don't like to use hired workers or um, uh, the, auto, uh, the, the auto combine works pretty good, but it consumes way too, it's like way too expensive. It's like a thousand times more expensive than the regular hired worker. Um, so I mean, it's like. Two thousand bucks an hour, or a thousand dollars an hour, uh, which I mean, I guess is, I guess it's like you contract with someone. I guess that's the idea behind that. It's not like you're an employee at ten dollars an hour. So I'll just go ahead and uh, lift this up here. Go back to the farm. Be nice if I could pull a fertilizer, uh, something hydrous behind this rig, or get a an an hydrous rig converted over. Oh yeah, and then uh, this is a cool little path to the, one of these back fields. Um, drive past the beach here with the dock and retaining walls, what have you. Nice view of the farm, but this is an entry way to. The, this uh, field, it's a pretty cool little hilly field. Um, you can get some pretty good production out of this one, wraps around the lake and stuff. So, I mean, you definitely wouldn't want to be on the beach when it's uh, time to spread the manure and liquid manure on that field. That's a fact. Uh, probably not the best location for a beach either, next to a farm, especially a dairy farm. Uh, pretty cool entryway. You got your garage for your truck, your house, your main shed. I haven't uh, I'll put in like a, like a shop. We'll just call that. We have the combine over there. Uh, most expensive cultivator I've ever seen.
Should get a gator or something around here. Thank uh -huh. 